The writing that we do as engineers and scientists is important. For one thing, the content matters. Our writing concerns how much food we produce for the world, how to provide clean drinking water, and how to protect the world from disease. As a student on a team to design, let's say, a small-scale wind turbine, your team might submit an initial research report for a possible location for the wind turbine, a proposal for a design concept to prototype, a progress report on that prototyping, and a final research report to document the design and its testing. Not only is writing important for communicating valuable work in engineering and science, but your ability to write will be important for advancement in your career. A recent survey by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers of more than 1,000 seasoned engineers found that communication is the second most important skill that an engineer needs to succeed. This past summer, during my internship at a medical device startup, I used many lessons from my engineering writing course. For instance, I was able to write standard operating procedures and work instructions that were precise and clear to both technical and non-technical audiences. Not only was I complimented by managers on my writing, but the other interns who had not yet taken a technical writing course came to me for advice on their reports as well. In engineering and science, communication is important for you to receive the credit that you deserve. As Sir Francis Darwin said, in science, the credit goes to the person who convinces the world, not the person to whom the idea first occurs. Had I not learned the most important principles of engineering writing, I would not have been able to be the official author on documents I wrote as an intern. Once I showed my manager that I could write as an engineer, I was allowed to publish my work under my own name.